So I've been working on this uh, Ranger mod over the last couple of days with the uh, new Men of War Assault Squad 2. It's not a new game, but the uh, read of the skins for the game, or the models I should say for the game, I pretty more correct words. So Owen and I did like a like a new Rangers unit since they only had seven back then. Owen and I did like a seventh Rangers uh, unit, and yeah, I was gonna have the numbers on the back of the head, but it was gonna be kind of hard to do that considering that um, the texture is split. So that way, like uh. So the thing's split right here, which means I would only, so like if I did a number, it would flip over here so it wouldn't really look that well. Because like you can really do like a 2 or something like that. So yeah, I was going to do it. Maybe I'll do like a 7 on the side of the helmet or something like that. But at least they have like the, they have like the uh, Ranger Diamond. And then over here you have the uh, CO, or the NCO helmet with the uh, crossbar. And then over here you got the officer's helmet with the up bar. Whatever you want to call it, but anyways... If you've ever watched a World War II movie, you'll see that with helmets. The difference between an NCO and a yeah, commissioned officer's helmet, and then you have your regular enlisted it's helmet. It's kind of a bad thing to go ahead and mark who's uh, who on helmets, though, because if a sniper ever uh, saw them turn around. It's like how the uh, British commanders used to hide their um, pistol kits in their map packs, uh, if they were officers, or even the uh, regular English soldiers would do that, too, but it's like based on the same agenda, because you, you don't want your officers standing out like a sore thumb. Not necessarily a good business tactic. Okay. Oh yeah, for right here we have um the major, captain, and people like that. I don't want them going anywhere. Cause I don't want to be losing my uh company commander or anything like that. But yeah, they're uh, going to be facing heavy German resistance. But yeah, the, uh, there's a lot of fortifications, even though it's a small beachfront, but it seems like over here they're able to run past the defenses fairly quickly, mainly because they got a lot more numbers and a lot more open area. As you remember to here, they have a lot more cover, which means that maybe not all, many are going to die, but a lot more are going to be suppressed than usual. And some men are retreating. I don't know why you'd retreat in a position like this. I would, I would attack and keep attacking, and then never stop attacking. Considering you're either got one plan, in the uh, ocean or death. You gotta suppress a machine gun though, because if you take out this machine gun, it gives you a little bit more uh, wiggle room for the exactly you can do. But I think the best tactic here would be to flank the enemy, which is uh, kind of what they're doing right here. Ready to go from mirrors, we're gonna be a hero. We're gonna go in there and gonna blow up that goddamn building. Oh shit, can I get through here? Yes I can. Okay, my plan is to get close to that ma get close to that uh, machine gun and throw an anti grenade shit. Oh and they can inst I didn't realize that they could kill me like that. I wasn't really expecting that Oh my god, are they yeah, they all fucking retreat? Wow. Damn. Yeah, which leaves now this these guys are getting flanked on both sides now, which isn't necessarily the best option. And you have a lot of uh, heavy resistance here, if you can uh, see. It's kind of a sad day. And who am I controlling? Okay, that's not what I really wanted, but I wanted to get Ralph and Mitchell. Even if I can't hit the guy, I just want to at least suppress him, because then that way maybe he'll quit shooting. Well, I guess you can't... In this game, you can't really suppress a machine gun, but you can suppress him. Um, okay, well. They just have one machine gun taken care of. What's this NCO doing? Get back here. You're a sergeant. You should know better not to do that. Brandon Simmons. Alright, sweet, they're pushing up. And freaking Sergeant John Phillips is leading the way. Shit. Not anymore, he is. <laughs> the fucking one dude that's hiding in a trench. It's funny. This guy just don't fucking shoot at me. Um. I like how even the fucking radio men's on the front line right now. You gotta admit, that's pretty classic. 
At least they got a bar pushing up, which is a lot better because now they actually got uh, some sort of a fire support. I'm just worried about all that goddamn machine gun fire, though. Because you don't have a very easy uh, route up there. There's not going to be a whole lot left to this platoon afterwards, I can say that much. But. Anyways, I'm hoping that I can at least flank the enemy over here like we're doing right now. I don't know how we can't get rid of that goddamn machine. It's probably because they got good cover on both sides to uh, not really be worried about getting hit. Oh, damn. I don't want to lose another sergeant from this angle, so we're going to get him over here. Heal up, sergeant. Oh, you can see the unit insignia, or the unit patch right there. 7th Ranger Battalion. The 7th Ranger Battalion. Looks like, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not really surprised that I have to keep retreating. They don't have a whole, whole lot of men left in this platoon. So they're definitely gonna have to get uh, mixed in within their platoon. Oh, wow, there's actually still an officer left. I'm kinda, I'm kinda shocked. Just a lieutenant, but still kinda shocking. Oh shit. Are they in here? Yeah, they are. Randall Peterson. Patterson. Uh, I wonder if there's any more guys in here. Yeah, I'd be more worried about these guys. This is, they're not too lethal up close, but if uh, for farther away units, if we go past them, they might be able to suppress some of them down. I mean, I can't really see anyone, but yeah, there's a yeah, like there's a guy right there that's shooting us as we come along. Tell you what, why don't you uh, go search this guy? I believe he's got a grenade on him. So, oh shit. You know, if I get a grenade through the window, I think we're going to be pretty good. That's kind of a... I don't really trust throwing a grenade through there, but I could throw a grenade through there. Fuck, I didn't get that guy. Oh, well. You know, we're going to throw you in a... I'm going to have you not move anywhere, just as I want to use you as a uh, more dedicated unit. Right now, for getting these guys out of these fucking buildings. I guess maybe the, the best route would be to get really close and pop a grenade through the window, maybe. No. Okay, got him. Sweet. That guy just wouldn't get out of cover. Bruno Patterson. Maybe it'll be Sergeant Randall Patterson after this. It's a good workout. Another thing I'm also scared about is the uh, heavy German resistance, but also is the heavy German resistance going up that mountain. It's one thing that I'm kind of petrified about. Okay. Well, you get going now. Go, go fight the good battle. Hopefully you don't get shot as soon as I release you out of my command. Or uh, out of direct control, I should say. Now, how are they going over here? Oh, wow. There's, like, no one left. Wow. Oh, maybe because they've already taken the building, huh? Yeah. Okay, Joel Patterson. Oh, I wonder if their brother... Oh, wait, no, that's Peterson. He was Patterson. We had... There's a lot of Germans, especially in these buildings here. So I bet there's probably still crowds located in one of these windows, considering that they're all crowding the building and they can't kill the guy. Yeah, he's up on the top floor. I have an idea. You're gonna try to pop a window through the uh, thing there. I'm gonna pop a grenade through the window there. And we're gonna pop a thing through the thing. That'll work perfectly. I'm gonna get closer considering how high up the window is. Oh shit, I can't even reach the fucking window. Oh, I might be fucked. Huh, do we have a rocket launcher? That'd really get the guy out of there. Uh, 
Oh, uh, we still have we still have cross over there too. So, or actually, we already searched this guy, right? Yeah, my my mistake. Anyway, it's time to give him a little bit of a surprise. Oh shit! We're just firing at uh, my guys. It's not too much of a hostile uh, machine gun. Maybe this crowd be in for a surprise. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, well, I can't seem to get them out of there, but there's still a lot of crowds in, in uh, these buildings right up here, so. Maybe we'll go and give them a surprise, perhaps. I don't want to be put in a spot where they're going to be able to fire upon me. Maybe we'll sneak around back and then come out to the front and pop a grenade through. And that scares me as you got some guys on the ground level that might be able to come out and get me. Like, yeah. I'm also deeply afraid of them doing- oh shit, yep, like that, see? Perfectly. Damn it. You know what we might be able to do is I might just lob a grenade shell through that building. You know, anti-grenade. Not a shell, but a grenade. A anti-tank grenade through the building. Maybe that'll get the guy out. Well. Well, isn't the best option, but it was the only option that really had there get that guy out of the building. And the rest of you get to cover right there. And then... yeah. Because I'm gonna need more men over here. Have they broken through? Here yet? Not really. They're still worrying about guys in this, these buildings I see. Why is the controls doing that? It's kind of pissing me off. For some reason it keeps making the guy run even after I stop like that. Yeah, see? <laughs> fucking. Kind of wish that they would fix the fucking direct control system. Do you think that if they added in like a tank DLC then the game would be a little bit better when it comes to this? But apparently not. Alright, well there we go. We got him. We got I mean, they're dead. They're dead. How many, uh, how many forces are dead? No, wait, what's V, oh, okay, yeah, what's X? Yeah. But yeah, though, a lot of, uh, a lot of dead guys. Especially rangers, a lot of dead rangers going on here. Submachine gun, I'm just curious, is this guy, he still has a summit on, right? Yep, NCO. <coughs> I know one thing though, the ranks are sure it's all going to get really dry after this battle. Control system so fucking horrible. You know what? I might have to do this instead. That worked. Not the way I hoped. Oh wait, is the guy up there anymore? Oh, I guess he died. 
guess I don't have to do that anymore. Okay. The rest of you get over here now. I need your support right over here. Okay, these machine guns are new. Oh shit, that gun's not neutralized though. That would have surely taken out anyone that came up along it. And what are you doing, Todd Brooks? Fucking clueless. Okay, no one's there, right? Good. What if I loved an anti-tank grenade inside the building? Could I do that, maybe? Yeah. But they weren't expecting that shit. Huh. Ah, oh, but I killed a machine gunner. Son of a bitch. It's not part of the plan, but... But they sure as hell weren't expecting that, though. Now, you're gonna be in the German in real life and having someone lob an anti- Oh, shit. Lob an anti-tank grenade into your fucking building? How are you not fucking dead? Okay, guess we're gonna have to be a little more creative on how I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna have to actually throw a grenade, an uh, anti tank grenade through the built door. Which won't be necessarily my most happiest of ideas, but. There we go, you're finally dead. Congratulations, you KIA. It doesn't look like there's any more left, but we're getting suppressed by machine gun fire up there. I don't know why they were so uh, advancing over here. I would start advancing over here. More of a safer idea. So, uh, so if dudes over here, dude, get over, get your asses over here. We need, I need rangers over here. You lost a lot of rangers, I've noticed, with this assault. <coughs> but there's also a beach landing, so I'm not really surprised. Kind of. It's usually 50% casualties. I think the average uh, fatality for e for every unit, well, fatality including uh, injured and wounded, was I think 56%. I think they meant, uh, I think it was mortally wounded, so they couldn't actually return to their unit or weren't uh, combat effective anymore. You know, they can actually take up arms. Oh shit, well, I don't know why they're doing that. I just ran right in the sight of a bunch of guys. Why are you running into a fucking machine gunner? I might not be able to kill anyone, but if I can suppress them so they stop running around, maybe I could uh, maneuver around them. With uh, more effectivity. Machine gun them fuckers. I think we've even conquered the mountain. Oh, but there's still Germans on the retreating end. Oh! Ha! They're all getting fucked over. Ha ha. That's a, that's a, that's a classic maneuver right there. It's a lot bigger than he had when he's like three feet away. That's like getting a shot in the knee laying down and bleeding out and then someone loves a grenade at you. It's gotta suck. Looks like the uh, remaining Germans are on a retreat. So that's nice. I feel bad for the damage we've caused to these people's houses though, but whatever. Huh. A lot of dead rangers today. Uh, we didn't actually lose that many capturing the hill as I thought we were going to. We lost, uh... Lost a lot less, I've noticed, with that assault, so... That's nice. Huh. An officer? Yep. We lost a lot of officers, I've noticed, too, which isn't necessarily a good sign, but... Either way, we did, uh, we did capture them out, and we did do the, uh, beach, so that's nice. I was gonna have them come out of the, uh, boats, but... I wanted a lot more men, so, and I just didn't feel like crowding a little shore with, like, 50 bajillion boats, so. 
But yeah, we, uh, this unit did actually pretty good, but they lost a lot of guys, though. So. Uh, so. Well, these guys all retreated. They missed out on all the glory of the combat. They went over here retreat. Yeah, this is the only, the only fucking platoon that retreated. But then I get, then again, I bet this is all that's left of their platoon is a bunch of riflemen. So that'll be nice in uh, in redistributing uh, units to form up new platoons. Especially considering how many officers we lost, we're probably gonna have to have sergeants running platoons for now. But yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.